Okay, so here you can see this is Daisy Cakes, and now it's 3.15 on a day when I had something to do today. And here is the stalker trying to mess with me all day long because their mommy is gone, probably. Or they're not having sex with someone. Or something has gone wrong in their lives that they're taking out on me again by pressing buttons. Which, even though they have numerous other problems, they are still able to do. So here, so just remember, just because someone has special needs doesn't mean that they can't be a complete and total butt face because he got the software by trying to make a woman pretend like her daughter was severe and profound. Can you imagine that? And this is the kind of person that they want to stick on me like a dog. Not like I'm a dog, but like they are. So here, if you look at this, I've been trying to upload this. It gets to about 44% and then it cuts off. I don't know why. Last time it was 43%. YouTube hasn't taken it down. This is some asshole that doesn't understand that people have the right to work and have free speech, freedom of expression, freedom of the press. This is my own experience. It's factual. It can be backed up and it's not anything that people don't already know about these people 10,000 times over. They're probably more afraid of a class action lawsuit than they are anything I would say anyway and I'm not even interested in starting anything like that at this moment. So here let me try uploading this one more time. You notice how I don't get the little ad button on my YouTube studio? Because the stalker took it away. Why did he take it away from me? I don't know. I guess he feels like he's my dad now. Isn't that sick? See, but you can tell it didn't upload. Because if you look here... I don't need to go to prison myself. I'm sorry for that lady. If you look here, now it's showing it's uploading again. But for 10 minutes now, it hasn't even shown, and I still have to go somewhere today. And the only thing, and this video was recorded on the 12th of December. So I, let me get on the camera here so that I make up on, I guess. Maybe something can get done today. Okay, so just remember, malware always makes it look like I need to blend, but I don't need to blend. So just remember, I have been doing this for six, seven hours now, and that no one, I cut my eyebrows up because I'm preaching at you, no one, there is nobody in this day and age that doesn't use the internet to work. It's not okay to just sit there and try to interfere with someone's work. I don't want to pay attention to these men. They don't deserve a minute of my attention or my time. They crawled out of the primordial ooze to slime up here and look at me, and that's all they get to do. And this has been for years now. I can't even look seriously mad. My, my ex-husband used to say that fighting with me was like fighting with an angry wet kitten. And I'm telling you that I am very angry. Even though I can only say it in this voice and I can't yell, I'm still very upset with these men. They know better. They like to get scolded by me. They're trying to ruin my life, basically. Now, I'm not on the pity pot or anything. I'm telling you the absolute truth. I showed you a video of what the last seven hours has been like. And now you can see it for yourself. So watch this. Yes, it's recording. Okay, watch this.
Oh, and just because people look okay and sound, you know, sweet or whatever, when they're totally and completely beyond the pale furious with somebody, doesn't mean that it's okay to make them furious, okay? This is the bad side about this. Is because I thought they would get tired of seeing me, but they are not. They are definitely not, and it's really upsetting because I don't want to look at them. It's just, I don't even know what to do. If y'all have had any experience, please let me know. I can't even imagine all the mistakes I'm making as far as this goes. But I can tell you one thing. That's that these people have way too much access to my internet. There's a hole behind my outlet cover that goes down to their apartment and enables them, probably with a Wi-Fi extender, and I have to kick them off of it every five minutes. And they know better than to act that way. And I hope that someone listening to me that works in my old town, Kyle, Texas, will find their parents and tell them that they're acting this way because they know them and I'm done dealing with them. They're making me and themselves look absolutely ridiculous, and it's not okay. And when I was teaching, I would have had their parents up in front of my desk with the kid there explaining themselves. And I don't understand why grown adults don't act like that could happen to them at any minute, because it seriously could. Because I know these people. I know who brought them up. I know who their parents are. And they were not raised to act this way. This is disgusting and ridiculous and obnoxious. Mad, wet, kitten, or no, it's not okay. And it's really frustrating because if I had laser beams coming out of my eyeballs, I couldn't be more angry right now. And just because it doesn't sound that way to you doesn't mean that the anger is not real. And it's not okay because you shouldn't, like they always say, don't let them know that they're getting to you. Well, they're not really getting to me as far as me breaking or anything. But it's probably going to load like two seconds before I have to leave. But I had things I wanted to do today that didn't have anything to do with having to rush out the door to do stuff. It's Friday. I like my Fridays too. And I don't think this is okay. It doesn't mean that I can't work with children. It doesn't mean that I can't work with adults. It doesn't mean that this, that this guy is in any way representative of any kind of person outside an institution. And I mean an institution for the mentally insane. And I've never said that that was the population I should be working with. Like delinquent kids, I love them. Any kind of any kind of like thing born of a human is great. But this guy needs to get some criminal consequences quickly before he turns around and does this to someone with an ex that's a lot crazier than mine, or a brother that's a lot crazier than mine, or a person that's a lot crazier than I am. Because I think nowadays the police depend on the streets to clean themselves sometimes, and that's not okay. This guy could do with some correction, maybe he could turn it around, or woman. I'm not sure how he's dressed today. But whatever he is today, or I'm sorry. Okay, whoever he is today, he doesn't deserve to be representative of any population, and he needs to get himself under control with respect to everyone else who identifies similarly or dresses similarly or looks similarly, lives similarly, acts similarly, or describes themselves as he does. And I just mean whoever it is that's messing with my Wi-Fi. It could be an 80-year-old woman for all I know. They need to cut it out. Also capable of calling people's children. So thank you very much for listening. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate y'all. I know you don't like to hear me get preachy. I know that watching me get angry is fun for some people. I don't know why. I'm not an anime creature. I'm an actual person. And these are real feelings. Even if they don't sound like anger to you. So. But I'm wishing all the best. Thanks.